Ah, so BTS is trending. They have a new single coming out. And why is a grown-ass man in his late 30s talking about a Korean boy band? Do I really care? No, not so much. What interests me, what interests me actually, is behind the smiles, behind the glamour, is a dirty, seedy lifestyle, is a dirty, seedy world that preys on the people, preys on the performers. It's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's completely manufactured happiness, completely manufactured, glorified happiness. Those smiles, they're fake. In the moment, they might seem real, but behind those smiles is intense suffering, uh, suffering intense pressure, pressure that, to such a magnitude, to such a magnitude that if they are just one pound heavier, they, they might as well just get a lashing. They might as well just get the lashing because what they get instead is much worse psychologically. We're talking about perfection, manufactured perfection that these boys and girls have to achieve. And if they don't achieve that, the punishment for it, the punishment, the consequence is pretty severe, pretty severe. And you can see that when these K-pop stars start manifesting uh, a mental illness like depression, start having these mental breaks of go into alcoholism or drugs. Uh, you see that here in America with uh, our manufactured pop groups or pop stars that are pushed out there and the glamour and all that. I mean, what I'm talking about isn't just a K-pop problem. It is a problem with uh, uh, entertainment in general, I guess you could say. But here, specifically with K-pop, um, let's talk, with them, talk about them. You see, BTS is glamorized. BTS is glorified. And I have another channel called the Dead Men's Tone Podcast where actually the Dead Men's Tone Podcast was supposed to be, but then it got hit with the copyright strike, so I just kind of moved everything here to Mr. Deadman DT. On that channel, I did, a, I did some reaction, reaction videos, reactions to music videos, which led to me getting a copyright strike where I couldn't live stream because it got kind of bossy and tried to do that as a live stream, and that was kind of a dumb idea. But in that, you could see I did react to some BTS music, and it was pretty positive towards it. First, I was like, what is this? Because, come on, guys. I, I can't. I can't fall for boy bands. I just can't. I can't. And, you know, it's like, am I a teenage girl? No, I'm not. I'm not. God, am I some middle school girl? No, no. I'm not doing that. But the songs were kind of catchy, and I did admit to that. Okay, the, the songs are catchy. Okay. And for some reason, the ladies are just like infatuated with them. I don't get it. I don't get it. But I got to be real with you guys. I got to be real. Behind this image, behind a manufactured, glorified presentation of happiness, of perfection, is a world that is filled with hurt. These stars are taken, and it would be one thing if they were just adults. If they're adults, they make their decisions, they, they can live with the consequences. But these performers are taken quite young, quite young. And the training is very intense. The pressure is very intense to the point to where mental illness, mental breaks, self-harm, and suicide. There have been K-pop stars that have reached a breaking point to where they had to kill them. Well, they had to. They didn't have to, but they resorted to killing themselves. We, in the States, we usually get uh, suicide by drug use or just mental breakdowns uh, or, or just burnout. Like, we don't really get, our, uh, we don't see our pop stars just committing suicide all the time. That happens with them. The other thing is the dark and seedy lifestyle, the dark and seedy environment, is obviously there are sex circles within the K-pop uh, entertainment or with an industry. It's blatant. It's clear. There's interviews with K-pop stars where they talk about the pressure. They talk about how, uh, that how they want to please fans. In their culture, they want to please the fans so much that even means presenting themselves as if, 
as if there's a chance, as if there is that chance that there could be some sort of sexual involvement. Like, well, doesn't, doesn't America do the same thing? Um, I don't know about to, to this level, because they actually mean to present themselves as if available, as if, and there's fans, depending on this, the amount of money they spend, depending on how they do it, they can get access to the K-pop stars. They can get access. If you are a high roller, if you have deep pockets, big bank account, you can get access to the K-pop stars. They do whore their stars out. They do. Uh, BTS and the, the female uh, groups, they do whore them out for profit. Of course, the record industry is pretty much a pimp. <laughs> That's what they are. They're using these guys. They're using these guys. And how much do they make? How much do they make to sell uh, in return? You know? When, when these boys are done, are they going to be millionaires? Are they going to be burnouts? Are uh, are they be forgotten? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? But yeah, the of course, also you got people within the industry that prey upon uh, each other, each other. You got people in high up positions that prey upon the performers too. There's been reports, uh, news articles where that's been exposed. There's been sexual scandals, sexual scandals, uh, rapes that were filmed, uh, assaults that were filmed. Uh, and those videos were probably passed around and, and of course, and consumed and, and, and probably enjoyed, uh, to put it that way, uh, you know what I mean by that, uh, by people within the circle. And, of course, that's still going on. Just because you uh, arrest someone and convict someone doesn't mean that lifestyle just changes. No. No. It thrives. So what am I saying with all this? I mean, if you're a fan of BTS, am I saying don't be a fan? No, you could still be a fan. That's fine. Just, just know that behind, behind the music you enjoy, behind that fake confident smile, there is a lot of hurt. There's a lot of hurt. Okay. Um, or you could just be ignorant. Ignorance is bliss at times, right? Uh, the less you know, the more you can enjoy it. Like I say that as someone who's a fan of uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, the more you learn about him, the more it's um, the harder it becomes to enjoy his music. But it's easy because he's dead. <laughs> so, you know, uh, and he was the king of pop. Mm. <sighs> he looked. He like looked into kids' assholes. Apparently, that's that's weird. That's weird. I don't know what he was doing there. I don't know. I don't even know if, that, if those uh, accusations are even true. I could have tell you. I could have tell you. Uh, but it's messed up if it is, huh? It's weird. <laughs> but you also got to think about the parents that send their kids to Michael Jackson's house. They're kind of fucked up, too. Kind of fucked up. Um, but in the day, I'm kind of a... Um, I don't know what you would call it. Not really... Okay, at the end of the day, I, I kind of see it as like adults are responsible for their own actions. Uh, you know, if they choose to do something, they get a certain consequence. Well, they, they got that, right? That's their, that's their prize for, for doing what they did. Um, so, you know, if you enjoy BTS, enjoy those K pop groups, that's fine. That's fine. But just know that it's manufactured. It all is. Um, just if you want more proof of that, look at what happens on Twitter. Uh, the K, K-pop stands are constantly uh, jumping on the trending hashtag for George Floyd, Black Lives Matter. It could be anything. Anything that's there that's trending, they would jump on it. Do they really care? No. You know they don't care. They probably don't even know who George Floyd is. You know? They probably have no idea. And it's not just limited to George Floyd. These, these sort of causes they jump on, they have no idea. But it's a manu it is a machine, a marketing machine. And they, they know how hashtags work. They know how Twitter works. They know how to inflame and how to get the attention. They will do that. If it's popular to hit on Trump, they're going to hit on Trump. If it's popular to be Black Lives Matter, they're going to be Black Lives Matter. If it was popular in some weird reverse world, if it was popular to be Asian Life Matters, then it would be that. 
But right now it's not because, uh, well, when asked Black Lives Matter how they feel about Asian people. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If so, press the like button, share, subscribe. I don't always talk about stuff like this. Um, kind of these videos I do, they're kind of what interests me. And hopefully you like it. If so, hey, that's cool. Um, I take it that the common thing in these videos is, uh, I guess, my personality. Look at that. Look at that. And, uh, yeah, kind of explore, learn things together. All right, guys, ladies, y'all take it easy. Have a good one.